Welcome to Fame Story TV, the channel that brings you the untold stories of those who left their mark on the world. Today, we remember and celebrate the lives of remarkable individuals who have sadly passed away. But today, we bring you updates on the unfortunate events surrounding Idris Elba. But before we dive into their incredible journeys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our daily stories. Northern Irish actor Ray Stevenson passed away on May 21, 2023, at the age of 58. No cause of death was available. During his 30-year career, he has appeared in 64 films and TV series. Ray Stevenson played Volstagg in the Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Detective Danny Mora in the 2022 film Memory. Morris in the 2014 film Big Game. Porthos in The Three Musketeers. Other in the television series Vikings. Blackbeard in the television series Black Sails. Edward Benton in the television series Relic. Titus Polo in the television series Rome. And Jake Elliott in the television series Reef Break. He was also a voice actor. He voiced Gar Saxon in the computer animated television series Star Wars The Clone Wars. Tribute to the Star. American-born Swiss Hall of Fame singer and actress Tina Turner died at her home after years of illnesses on May 24 at the age of 83. She was called the Queen of Rock and Roll. Her most famous song is Simply the Best. As an actress, she has appeared in almost 20 films and TV shows. She starred in films such as Last Action Hero, Tommy, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Tribute to the Star American actress and model Marlene Clark died on May 18th at age 85. She was most known for playing Sabrina in the television series McLeod. She also has appeared in films and TV series like Enter the Dragon, Lord Shango, The Jezebels, and Ganja and Hess. Tribute to the Star Helmut Berger was an Austrian actor known for his roles in films such as The Godfather Part Three, The Romantic English Woman, Ludwig, and The Damned. In total, he starred in 71 films and TV series. Helmut Berger died on May 18th at the age of 78. Tribute to the Star Gary Kent passed away on May 25th at the age of 89. He was an American actor and stuntman most known for his appearances in films such as Frame Switch, Satan's Sadists, and Forest of the Vampire. Tribute to the Star American actress and reality television star Sonia Pizarro passed away on May 3rd at the age of 60. She was most known for starring in a television program that depicts the world of car repossession, Operation Repo, from 2006 to 2014. Tribute to the Star English actor who has appeared in over 100 films and TV series, Terence Hardiman, died on 8 May 2023. He was 86 years old. Terence Hardiman was most known for his role as the Demon Headmaster in the television series of the same name, 
which ran from 1996 to 1998 and was rebooted in 2019. He also appeared in TV series such as The Crown, Cadful, and Prime Suspect. Tribute to the Star American sprinter and long jumper Tori Bowie has died. Tori was found dead at her home in Florida on May 2nd. She was only 32 years old. During her career, she won three Olympic medals and two world titles. Tribute to the Star Jacqueline Zeman, an American actress, known for her role as Bobby Spencer on General Hospital, passed away on May 9th at the age of 70. The cause of death was cancer. She played Bobby Spencer in more than 800 episodes for 45 years. Tribute to the Star Polish-born, American actress, Lisa Montel, died at the age of 89. She died on March 7, 2023, but this became known only a few days ago. She has appeared in films such as World Without End, She Gods of Shark Reef, and Approved. Tribute to the Star American professional football player, four-time Pro Bowl selection Ed Flanagan, died on May 10th at age 79. He played in the National Football League for San Diego Chargers and Detroit Lions. Tribute to the Star American blogger and internet personality Heather Armstrong passed away on May 9, 2023. She was 47 years old. Heather was one of the first and most popular mommy bloggers. Tribute to the Star Legendary Brazilian singer, composer, and founder of the trailblazing band Os Mutantes, Rita Lee died of cancer on May 8th at the age of 75. She was called Brazil's undisputed queen of rock. Rita Lee sold more than 50 million records worldwide. Tribute to the Star American Hall of Fame men's college basketball coach who led the Louisville Cardinals to two national championships in the 1980s, Denny Crum passed away on May 9th at the age of 86. Tribute to the Star American actor Lance Reddick died of natural causes at his home in Los Angeles. His best-known role was as Baltimore Police Lieutenant Cedric Daniels in HBO's hit crime drama, The Wire. Lance Reddick was also appeared in major TV series like Fringe and Bosch and films like Angel Has Fallen and the John Wick franchise. He was also a veteran voiceover talent as well, lending his voice to video games like the Destiny franchise and Horizon Zero Dawn. Lance Reddick died on March 17th at age 60. Tribute to the Star Actress Annie Wershing died at the age of 45 in Los Angeles on January 29th, 2023, after a battle with cancer. The actress was diagnosed with cancer in 2020 
and continued to act despite undergoing cancer therapy. She was best known for her roles on television series like Bosch, Timeless, Star Trek, Picard, and 24 Annie was also played the character Tess in the hit video game The Last of Us. Tribute to the Star American actress Raquel Welch has died. Raquel was born on September 5, 1940. She became an international sex symbol in the 1960s, widely remembered for playing a bikini-clad cavewoman in the 1966 film One Million Years B.C. In 1974, she won a Golden Globe for her role as Constance Bonacieux in The Three Musketeers. She was also appeared in films such as Myra Breckenridge, Hanny Calder, and The Wild Party. In 1994, Raquel Welch received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Raquel Welch died of cardiac arrest on February 15, 2023, at age 82. Tribute to the Star Emmy-winning actor Robert Blake died at the age of 89. He became a television star in the late 1970s, playing the role of Detective Anthony Vincenzo Beretta. In the television series, Beretta, he was also known for his role as Perry Smith in the 1967 film In Cold Blood. Robert Blake died on March 9, 2023. Tribute to the Star American actor Tom Sizemore has died on March 3rd after being taken off life support. The actor suffered a brain aneurysm on February 18th. He was 61 years old. He was known for his work in films like Saving Private Ryan and Black Hawk Down. Tribute to the Star Canadian-American actor Len Berman passed away on February 10th at the age of 90. He was known for his role as Dr. Simon Mills in Captain America film franchise. He was also appeared in films such as Silver Streak, Draw, and Lies My Father Told Me. Tribute to the Star American actress Stella Stevens, who starred alongside Elvis Presley and Jerry Lewis, died on February 17th at age 84. She has appeared in films like The Poseidon Adventure, The Ballad of Cable Hogue, Too Late Blues, The Silencers, and Girls, Girls, Girls. Tribute to the Star Idris Elba is talking about some of the bad habits he wants to change. The 51-year-old actor from London was on the Changes with Annie McManus podcast, where he talked about what he's working on in therapy. I've been in therapy for about a year now. It's a lot to think about, he said. In my therapy, I'm thinking a lot about changing my habits. He explained that it's not because he doesn't like himself, but because he has some unhealthy habits. He works in an industry that rewards those bad habits. Elba described himself as a workaholic, which he admitted is not good for his life and well-being. Anything too extreme isn't good. Everything needs balance, he said. But I'm massively rewarded for being a workaholic, even though it means not seeing my family for six months and working all the time. Elba said he's been thinking a lot about how his childhood plays a role in these habits. Through therapy, he wants to take time for himself and find activities that help him relax. However, he finds it hard to do that. The things that relax me end up being work, he said. 
I love being in my studio at home. I'll start working on something, and it makes me feel good and relaxed. He added that he could work hard on a film, doing intense scenes, and then feel more relaxed working in his studio than sitting on the sofa with his family. I need to normalize relaxing without it being all about work, he said.